Today's final will judge your ability to assess a child's fear and perform the appropriate scare in the scare simulator. <laughs> The child's sensitivity level will be raised from bedwetter to heavy sleeper. So give it everything you've got. Dean Hart Scrabble is with us this morning to see who will be moving on in the scaring program and who will not. Let's get started. I'm a five-year-old girl afraid of spiders and Santa Claus. Which scare do you use? Uh, that's a seasonal creeping crawl? Demonstrate. <laughs> Results will be posted outside my office. Focus. Johnson, Crackle, and Howard. Yes! <laughs> Do you mind? Don't mind at all. <sighs> Come on, Mike. Let's just move. Hey. Stay out of my way. Unlike you, I had to work hard to get into the scare program. <laughs> That's because you don't belong here. lifetime of scaring? Accidents happen, don't they? The important thing is, no one got hurt. You're taking this remarkably well. Now, let's continue with the exams. Mr. Wazowski, I'm a five-year-old girl on a farm in Kansas afraid of lightning. Which scare do you use? Shouldn't I go up? Um... Which scare do you use? That is a shadow approach with a crackle howl. Demonstrate. Stop. Thank you. But I didn't get I've seen enough. I'm a seven-year-old boy. <laughs> I wasn't finished. I don't need to know any of that stuff to scare. That stuff would have informed you that this particular child is afraid of snakes. So a roar wouldn't make him scream, it would make him cry. Alerting his parents, exposing the world, destroying life as we know it, and of course we can't have that. So I'm afraid I cannot recommend that you continue in the scaring program. Good day. Wait, what? But I'm a Sullivan. Well then, I'm sure your family will be very disappointed. continuing in the scaring program. Please, let me try the simulator. I'll surprise you. Surprise me? I doubt that very much. 